This is Starcade, TV's first video arcade game show. And here's our host, Mark Richards. Hi, Starcaders, and welcome. We're backstage warming up for today's action with our two contestants getting ready to play some very exciting video games. Players, are you about ready? Yes. Let's play Starcade. Right now, Starcaders, let's meet today's two contestants. We have Bill Brock and Linda Davis. Welcome both of you to the program. And both Linda and Bill have been matched up based on their game playing ability. And uh, both, both of you know that there's a grand prize involved in today's program. One of you will have a chance to win that prize, and that is your very own video arcade game. And there it is right behind us, and it's Wacko! And it could be yours! <laughs> Bill, tell us about your hobbies. I like to sail, Mark. You like to... What kind of a boat do you have? A big one or a small one? I have a little 19-foot sailboat. So oh, you can't go very far in a 19-footer? No, I can't, but one of these days I'm going to get a big one. Like how big? I'd say 45 feet. Well, that uh, can bring you almost around the world. That's the idea, Mark. Where would you like to go? I'm going to head for the Mediterranean you, first. You be sure to take me with you. You let me know when you're ready to play. Sure. Lots of luck, Bill. Nice to have you on today's program. Let's meet your opponent. And this is Linda Davis. Hello, Linda. Mark, how are you doing? And what have you got over there? Oh, this is Felix. I brought him with me today for good luck. Well, we wish you luck, too. And uh, what are you into, collecting uh, animals? Yes, I do. I have a lot of live animals and stuffed animals. I have um, a horse, two rabbits, and five fish, and three cats, and a parakeet. And a partridge in a pear tree, right? That's about it. <laughs> Linda and Bill, shake hands if you will. Good luck to both of you. Take your places at the podiums. And uh, Kevin, if you will, please tell us about the five games on today's program. Game number one, Rescue, a chopper flight to save and defend. Game number two, Lock and Chase, a game of cops and robbers. Game number three, Super Pac-Man, the mild-mannered Pac-Man supersized. Game number four, Time Pilot, an exciting flight through time. And game number five today on Starcade, Lost Tomb, a race through a dark world. And attached to one of those games is a valuable prize. You pick that game, and the prize is yours. Today's mystery game is Super Pac-Man. If you're all set, let's find out which one of you two get to pick the first game on today's Starcade by answering this toss-up question. Hands on the bells, please, and good luck to both of you. In the game Jungle Hunt, the hero is trying to rescue the fair maiden from A, a ferocious lion, or B, barbarians. Bill. Barbarians. You got it. Barbarians is right. <laughs> and you have the advantage right now, Bill. There are five games to be played. Which one do you select? I select Rescue. Rescue it is. And here's Kevin to tell us all about Rescue. It's a game of rescue, and you're the hero piloting your chopper in to pick up the parachutists swimming for their lives in the shark-infested waters. Airlift them to the safety of the island, defending yourself from the enemy choppers, ships, and submarines. Score a shark for points, because you're the hero in rescue. Bill, you're going to play the uh, rescue game right now. We're going to give you 60 seconds on our time clock to accumulate as many points as you possibly can. You feel pretty good? Good. Great. Turn around, if you will, please, into position. Ready? Begin. Oh, oh wait a minute. I don't believe this. No points? You no didn't points. No. You, that's what it says. Zero? Zero. Come on, Linda. Let's, <laughs> Linda. <laughs> You've got a hard thing to do right now. If you just get one point, oh, you <laughs> you beat Bill in the first round of competition. Okay. You all set? You feel yeah. pretty good? Yeah. All right. Again, we're going to give you 60 seconds on our time clock. Into playing position, please. Ready? Begin.
Okay. Very good. You, <laughs> you've got yourself 500 points, so you have a pretty good lead so far. And we'll be back with more of uh, Bill and Linda to see which one of our star caters picks our very next game right after these words. Starcade is brought to you by Parker Brothers Home Video Game Cartridges, makers of popular video games like Toot and Com. Parker Brothers, the ones to beat. Today's grand prize on Starcade is the video arcade game Wacko. It's a wacky world of weird monsters changing to mutant monsters and back again with Captain Coozer flitting about in his saucer in pursuit. The arcade game Wacko, furnished by Midway Manufacturing Company. And now, once again, here's Mark Richards. Thank you, Kevin. And at the end of the first game, let's see, I know, but let's see anyway who's ahead. Bill, at the end of one game, you have a grand total of... Zero points. <laughs> and Linda, you have a total of 500 points, so you're in the lead so far. Bill, you've got some catching up to do. You can do it this game. Remember, whoever has the highest total of points at the end of this round of competition gets to play the first prize round. Linda, this is your good luck charm, right? Felix, the, sure uh, the cat. Mm -hmm. Bill, uh, probably you didn't have your good luck charm with you. Do you have any kind of a good luck charm? What have you got there? <laughs> that's my money clip. Well, why, why wasn't it up there before? I forgot. Well, that's why you didn't do well. Right. You, you've got to have a good luck charm. Yeah. Maybe you'll do a lot better this time. You've got to catch up, right? Right. Okay, and don't forget, trouble. you're still playing for the grand prize, your very own video arcade game. Let's see who gets to pick the very next uh, game. There's four left. We have Lock and Chase, Time Pilot, Lost Tomb, and Super Pac-Man. Here is your next question. Hands on the buzzers, uh, buzzers please. What is olive oil tossing in the first level of the game, Popeye? Linda. Hearts. Or spinach. Hearts is the right answer, and you've got it. <laughs> Popeye wouldn't... Olive oil wouldn't toss spinach. Hearts <laughs> is what it is. You have four games remaining. Linda, which one is it? I'll take Time Pilot. All right, and here's Kevin to tell us all about Time Pilot. If you've ever dreamed of a journey through time, get ready, because you're about to become the Time Pilot, racing your sleek jet at mock speed, encountering a century of flying machines from the 1910 biplane to the UFOs of the future. Rescue parachuting pilots for extra points as you race through time. A hundred years will pass before the eyes of the Time Pilot. Linda, I've got to ask you, why you chose Time Pilot? There are four games remaining. Why Time Pilot? Well, because I'm good at shooting things, little clouds and little bombs and things. I seem to be pretty good at that. You like to shoot things out of the sky? Yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to see how well you do today. Uh, we're going to give you 50 seconds on our time clock. Get as many points as you possibly can. Remember, the high score at the end of this game plays our first prize round. Right. We wish you luck. Into playing position, please, Linda. 50 seconds on our time clock. Ready? Begin. You, you are good. 5,000 points. Great score. Let's go back to the podium. Come on up here, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, Linda's got a little bit of an edge over you right now. A little bit, Mark. So I'll tell you right now, she's got 5,500 total points. You, you've got to do real well in 50 seconds on Time Pilot. Got it. Feel confident? Confident. Good luck to you. Here we go. Turn around to the position, please. 50 seconds on the clock. Ready? Begin.
Well, Bill, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's go on back to the podium and find out which one of you two get to play our uh, first prize round on today's Starcade. And what we're going to do is kind of what do we say, total up the points. And uh, let's take a look right now. Bill, at the end of two games of competition, you have a grand total of 1,200 points. Linda, your grand total so far is 5,500 points. <laughs> and come on down here. You get ready to play our first prize round. We're going to show you the playing fields of four video games, identify them correctly, and you'll win these prizes. Kevin? For three correct answers, Linda, you'll win the Cobra Phone, cordless telephone, letting you receive and place calls anywhere inside or outside your home. Model CP99S features attractive styling and concealed antennas. Enjoy cordless phoning with a Cobra Phone. And for four correct answers, it's the Redline PL20 Carrera, the state-of-the-art in bicycle motocross. P for pro performance, L for lightning fast, the Redline PL Carrera, the best in bicycle motocross. Those are the prizes. They could be yours, Linda, if you're all set. Good luck to you. Let's turn around and take a look at our playing fields. First of all, Linda, let's take a look at number one. Is this Speedway or Turbo? Turbo. Right you are. Number two, Robbie Roto or The Pit? The Pit. No, I'm sorry, that is Robbie Roto. Let's continue. Number three, Klingon Avenger or Star Trek? Star Trek. Right you are. And number four, is this dig -a -lot or dig Dug? Dig Dug. You got it. And you, <laughs> and you won yourself a great prize. And we'll be back with lots more video action on today's Starcade with Bill and Linda following these words. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to Starcade with uh, our two contestants today, Bill and Linda. And I'd like to tell you right now that many of the video arcade games you see on our show are seen for the first time anywhere right here on Starcade. So if you're all set, let's get ready to go with our next round of competition on Starcade. And let me tell you, uh, Bill and Linda, this is the big challenge. Mm -hmm. You bet, because only 40 seconds on our time clock, one game to be played, the high score will get to play for the super prize round, and one of you will go on to play for the grand prize, your very own video arcade game. So if you're all set, hands on the buzzers, here is your next question. In the game Robbie Roto, you must have save hostages and treasures placed underground by A, the evil Voltar, or B, evil Otto. Bill. Evil Otto. No, it's Evil Voltar, and Linda, you get to pick the next game. We have three games remaining on today's Starcade. We have Lock and Chase, Lost Tomb, or Super Pac-Man. Which is your choice? I'll try Lock and Chase. Lock and Chase, and here's Kevin to tell us all about Lock and Chase. It's a game of cops and robbers with locking chambers and reappearing money bags and other point-scoring novelties. Your Super D nickname in a game of chase with Stiffy, Smarty, Scaredy, and Silly. Lure them into chambers and lock them up while you escape to capture points. Your Super D cruise into amazing adventure in a game of lock and chase. Linda, you're doing real well today on today's program, and you can go back and play our super prize round if you get the high score on this game. We're going to give you 40 seconds on our time clock. Just get as many points as you possibly I can. Will. I'm sure you will. I'll try. Good luck to you. Into playing position, if you will. 40 seconds. Ready? Begin. <laughs> like you have a grand total of 880 points. Not bad. Come on up here, Bill. <laughs> Bill, needless to say, if you want to play the super prize game coming up next, you have got to beat 880 points. I'll try, Mark. Well, we wish you luck, all right? We want to see winners on the show. So turn around, if you will. 
40 seconds on our time clock. Good luck, Bill. Ready? Begin. I think it's going to be close. Let's go back to the podiums and uh, see which one of you two get to play our uh, super prize round on today's program on Star K. Linda, I think it's close for this game. Let's Uh-oh. find out. <laughs> I think we're it go- is, too. We're going to find out uh, how the scores come up. At the end of uh, this round, Bill, you have a grand total of 960 points. Linda, your total is 880. Come on down, Bill. You get to play the super prize round. Good. Linda had her chance before. Now it's your chance. Thanks, Mark. We're going to show you the playing fields of four video games, identify them correctly, and you'll win these prizes. Kevin? For three correct answers, it's the Sicy Sensor Chess, providing the realism of intelligent chess and the performance of a computer in a compact package. Sicy provides eight levels of strategic play for the beginner to the advanced player. Sicy. And for four correct answers, the Texas Instruments Home Computer and Monitor for education, home finance, and entertainment. You're not just playing, you're learning with the Home Computer and Monitor from Texas Instruments. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Bill, those are the prizes. They could be yours. Lots of luck. Let's take a look at your very first game here. If you will, let's take a look at number one. Is this Ancient Crypt or Lost Tomb? Lost Tomb. Right you are. Number two, Galaga or Gorf? Galaga. No, I'm sorry. That is Gorf. Let's move on with number three. Is this Burger Time or Chef's Special? Burger Time. Right. And number four, Asteroids or Space Duel? Asteroid. No, it's a uh, space tool, but I'll tell you what, you didn't win the big prize, but we do have a fine consolation gift for you. Thanks, okay, Mark. all right, and we'll be back with uh, more of uh, Bill and Linda to find out who's, who gets to play the big prize right after this. <laughs> Some of our Starcade contestants and some members of the studio audience will receive the famous Red Ball Joystick from Wicco, making joysticks for actual arcade games like those used on Starcade. Wicco Command Control, the one and only arcade quality joystick for home use. The TI-5130 printer display desktop calculator from Texas Instruments. Anything you do with numbers, Texas Instruments can help you do better. Electronic fun with computers and games is the magazine of the computer age. Easy to read, witty, and informative, it's the ultimate magazine for gamers and computer users of all ages. Electronic fun with computers and games. Hi, Starcaders, and welcome back to our final segment of uh, Starcade today with Bill and Linda. Right now, we're going to total up the points to see which one of you has the right to go for the grand prize, your very own wacko video game. You anxious to find out who wins? Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> Let's total up the points right now. Bill, at the end of three games on today's program, you have a grand total of 2,160 points. Linda, your total, 6,380, and you are the winner. Bill, I want to thank you very much for being on our show today. We hope you had a lot of fun. We have some prizes for you. Thank you, Mark. All right, and nice to have you with us, as I said. And, uh, Linda, there are two games remaining on Starcade today. We have Lost Tomb or Super Pac-Man. If you pick Lost Tomb, you must score in 30 seconds at least 1,035 points. If you pick Super Pac-Man, you must score in 30 seconds 3,735. Now, those are the average scores based on 20 people playing those same games for a 30-second time period. So, Linda, which one will it be? I'll choose Super Pac-Man. Super Pac-Man? Do you have any reason for choosing that game? I think I like that game a lot. Well, good luck. I played it. All right, here's Kevin to tell us all about Super Pac-Man. 
the mild-mannered Pac-Man mildly eats rows of fruit and objects and chomps a few monsters to rack up points. Special keys open gates to more fruit, and the super button control gives him an extra burst of super speed. Chomping a super dot, he changes to Super Pac-Man, ten times his normal size, and able to chomp as he pleases, where he pleases, invincible to the monster's pursuit. Well, congratulations for making it to this point of the game right now, Linda. And uh, you've got Felix to... Oh, uh, I've got him, yeah. Oh, Felix, please help me with this. <laughs> well, he looks like he's got a big smile on his yeah, face. he does. <laughs> All right, now you know the rules of the game. We're going to give you 30 seconds on our time clock. And during that period, you must accumulate more than 3,735 points. If you do, what happens? I get a big prize. And it's right back there, right? Yeah. All right, so if you're all set... You, uh, I'll take Felix for you. Take care of him for me. You've got some friends in the audience who are going to wish you luck. Right, folks? You all wish uh, Linda luck? We're all with you, Linda. Oh, thank you. 30 seconds on the time clock. Into position, if you will, please. Lots of luck. Ready? Begin. Linda, we were rooting for oh. Felix. Felix? What happened? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I you did my best. Well, you've I won think. some fine prizes anyway, and you've been a great contestant. And uh, Bill, come on down here and uh, wish your luck. And uh, your family, come on down here, folks, if you will. Thanks, and we want to thank everyone at home for being such a, a great audience. And we'll see you again uh, next time on Starcade. Thanks for being with us. So long, everybody. Starcator cars furnished by Holiday Payless Rent-A-Car System. Two great names providing top service at 260 locations across the U.S. and Canada. The Starcator staff stays at the elegant Grosvenor Inn Civic Center in San Francisco. The Starcade audience travels to the show by chauffeured bus from Vista Limousine Service. Some of the Starcade set furnished by RCA. Hairstyling by Shea Peter. This is Kevin McMahon speaking. This has been a JM production.